Hi, this is Anthony from okuplay.com and today we're checking out the VR cover for Oculus Quest 2. This is a 100% cotton cover for your original stock foam interface and it keeps it nice and clean, nice and hygienic and if you're a big fan of fitness games this is something you probably want to check out. So let's see what is inside. So in the pack, you get a lens cleaner, which is gonna keep it nice and clean, keep your lenses nice and shiny and free from any dust and debris. Don't use your t-shirts. You get a manual on how to actually apply the cotton, the cotton cover. Um, pretty straightforward, but we'll go into that in a minute. And you get two cotton covers for your Oculus Quest 2. These are 100% cotton. So they're gonna wick all that sweat away from your face and keep it on, on here rather than pushing it all the way through onto your foam interface if you're doing any fitness games. And um, generally, if you're into those fitness games or high intensity games and you sweat a lot, you wanna check these out. So let's just see how well these are to get installed. Right, so we have the cotton covers here that you get. Obviously we only need one. So that's gonna get rid of one. Uh, we've got our Halo Strapped Quest 2 here that you've seen me use before. We're going to take the uh, actual stock interface off. Uh, usually I would be using the VR cover, uh, but we're not going to be using it right now. And um, so this is the stock interface that you get with the Oculus Quest. Um, some might find this little bit abrasive on their skin. And um, the benefit of these is that you can reuse this uh, if you like the padding of the stock interface and you, you're quite tight on money and you want a, just a quick, easy uh, solution to enhance the comfort, then you basically want to check out the cotton covers for your Quest 2 facial interface. So we've got our instructions here. Uh, we're going to have a look at what it is and how easy it is to install. So we've got to line up the cover. We've got to take it off first, which we've done. And then we've got to, this is the, the top end of the cover and we need to align it uh, to the very top of the cover. And um, the original one for the Quest 1 had lots of um, like metal hooks, which I'm not seeing here. It's actually got a two, um, bungee sort of elasticated system here. So that's going to be a little bit different to what um, you're used to if you've had the cotton covers for the Quest before. Um, amazingly, these are also sold out the last time I checked. Um, so if you are thinking of getting these, just make sure um, that you probably sign yourself up to their email system and you'll be told um, exactly when um, stuff like these uh, come back in stock. So we've had a look at lining up the VR cover with the stock interface. Now we need to loop the upper straps over the back of the interface. So I assume, so when we're looking at it, I'm looking at the bottom lift uh, image down here and we need to, cause these haven't got any elastic on them. Uh, yet yeah, they've got some metal sort of wire in the bottom of them. So it feels a bit lo-fi by doing this. Um, so we need to loop the upper straps over the back of the face plate, I guess like that. And then we need this one, it's gonna go over the top. So they basically overlap each other. Now, now that that's uh, hooked here and we're gonna just make it a bit tighter. Now adjust the cover for a secure fit. Just done that. It's a little bit not so flat here because that's gonna put some serious quest face on your forehead. So you have to make sure this is all nice and flat. And then these bits, I'm assuming, Gently squeeze the tips of the to secure the VR cover onto the interface. 
so they're not really that big so and it doesn't go all the way around so we just got to stretch it a bit more see if we can get this on it because that should really follow the contour of the mask Bear with us. So that goes over like that. So that's pretty much it. Still a bit unsure about how flat that's not happening, but that's a good enough fit. Yeah, feels nice on the face. And then basically then reattach it to your quest. So I'm gonna do that and put that back on. And these bits should clip in. If they don't, they're not lined up properly like that. And then that fits in there like that. And you can see that the straps are just slightly showing there. But other than that, that looks good. Uh, these have now come loose, so I'm not quite sure of the longevity here of this bit. I don't think this is the best way to attach it personally. I think there's probably a better way of doing this, or I'm doing it wrong. But that's good enough. All right, so let's get it on and see how it feels. All right, so we got our VR cover fitted. Uh, had a bit of trouble about these little bits here, but they're all on okay. Uh, looks good. Let's just see how it feels. Feels good. Uh, obviously with the halo strap, I don't really feel that much around here in the first place, but if you had the elite strap or the, the original soft strap, it probably wouldn't, uh, it probably would feel a lot nicer on the face because you haven't got that rough texture around the edges of your face um, but it it feels good um, and the benefit of having the original uh, interface means that you're not going to um, have any issues if you use glasses uh, some covers are going to have issues um, because they're not wide enough if you've got glasses uh, they're going to fit with this um, interface anyway so I wouldn't really worry about that too much this is just going to add extra comfort uh, and for fairly a decent price too. And you've got two, so you're gonna be able to wash them. Uh, one Once one is a little bit grubby, you can have that in the wash, whilst you've got another one to crack on with and carry on playing. So that's all an added bonus too. If you've got the facial interface kit from VR Cover as well, if you're lucky enough to actually get one, uh, the cover does sort of fit onto the um, onto the unit, but I'm always getting issues with how these attach. They don't, they feel like they've got to be twice as long. Uh, so they actually go all the way over um, the actual system. You can see not, it doesn't even fully end to the point here where it could have attached itself a little bit better. So for about $19, um, I would personally just go straight for the interface kit and don't worry about these uh, cotton covers because basically once you have um, sweated yourself in the quest, you could just literally wipe this down with a sort of hygienic cloth. If hygiene is your thing, you can just literally wipe it down and you, you really don't have to worry about it then. Uh, whereas with a cloth, you've got to toss it into the washing machine and get it clean. So um, this is probably a better option for me if you can get one that is. So make sure you sign yourself up to the stock list and get reminders on when uh, it comes available into stock. Check out our links below um, on um, when to get, how to get one. But if you're a real big fan of the Quest cover originally and you wanna make it slightly more hygienic, then check out these cotton covers and maybe VR cover in future might address this a uh, bit at some point and makes it attach a little bit better it's a nice idea, but for me, it's not enough um, secure uh, attachment to the interface kit, which bit lets it down just a little bit. Um, the attachment bit up here is better. That's improved since the Quest 1, 
but uh, down here it needs some extra work. It needs to be longer and attach more securely because it's not 100% a brilliant fit. So for $20 though, you get two, you get lens cleaner as well. So it's not a bad bundle if you just like the stock quest uh, phone cover and you want a hygienic way to protect it from getting nice and sweaty. All right, so that's the VR cover for the Oculus Quest 2. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, give us a like, give us a subscribe. It really helps us out and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.